Hey everybody, I want to show you a really great website for capturing YouTube videos as a GIF. And one really great uh, feature of this website is you can also download it as an MP4. So let me show you how to do this. So we want to go over to GIFs.com, that's G-I-F-S.com. And it's a free account, so we do want to log in. So just create your login account. So I'm going to go ahead and log in uh, right here. And to get started, what I need to do is find a YouTube video. So I want to use this video of how to kick a soccer ball. So I'm just going to go up and I'm going to copy the URL, come back over to GIFs, and just paste it. And then it takes a minute or two to load in the YouTube video. And then what you'll do is select the portion of the video that you want to use. So for this example, I'm going to drag this time slider here to a portion where it shows him kicking the ball. All right. So it automatically generates a five second loop and you can see that it loops through him kicking the ball toward the goal. And there's a whole bunch of features there. You can add a caption, a title. So if you could enter the uh, essential skills, you could add stickers to it. You could crop it, create different other effects. Um, but this is the basic use of it. So uh, when you're happy that it's been captured, you can uh, either shorten it a little bit either trim it from the front or the back. And once you're happy with it, you just come up here to the green Create GIF button and you have the opportunity to change the title. So I'll just shorten this title up here. Uh, you don't really need to add a tag. And when you're done, uh, it will say your GIF has been made and you just click on Next. It's gonna to try to get you to sign up for the premium, just say no thank you. And so you've got all these options. You can link directly to it. With the shortened URL, you got the regular URL, you can embed this um, into a, uh, a Google site or some other tool that does allow embedding. Just to remind you that Google slideshows do not embed. So what you want to do for that is download this. And here's the really cool thing. So you can do a small version of the GIF. You can do the original size, full size GIF, or you can download as an MP4. The MP4 does capture the sound of the video from the, from the portion that uh, was uh, being uh, recorded as a GIF. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it as a uh, original size GIF. Again, it keeps wanting you to do the premium, but you can just skip that. So when you put the download, you can type kicking soccer ball. And then it goes into your Chrome browser. I'll just bring it up here. Here's my cake in the soccer ball. And that allows me to embed it into uh, a Google document. So what I can do, I've got this presentation here with the critical elements of passing with feet. I just click and drag this right into the presentation. I can enlarge this so that I can see what it looks like. Uh, so there's my GIF. It just, you can just uh, click and drag it right into a presentation. So it's pretty simple to use. Now, if I wanted to use the MP4 version of it, I'd have to do a little bit of a different process. What I would have to do is to first um, upload it to Google Drive and then insert it into Google Slides like I would any video. So you can see I've already downloaded a version of the MP4. So let me come up to the Google Drive right here and drag this into Google Drive. Give it a second to upload. Okay, now that it's uploaded, little trick if you haven't um, already tried this is that Google likes to um, use the recent used files in Google Drive. So if I double click this and then just and then just make sure it plays a little bit. So now when I go back to my slideshow, uh, let me just uh, undo that. And if I want to insert a video from Google Drive, I can just go over here to recent and it will search the recent videos that I've opened. So since I just opened the soccer ball one, it should be right here. So I double click that and then it will embed it directly in here. Do keep in mind though that there is a 100 view limit in Google Drive. So this is something that you may want to remember that may not work uh, if you're doing like multiple classes that are all working on it on the same day, but it is another option uh, and it does have a nice video. It does have a nice, um, video that it comes up with. So up, this is a really great tool. It's called, once again, it's called gifts.com. And uh, if you have any questions or just let me know uh, and I'll be happy to help you.